Question 3. PCL5, PCL3, and NCL3 are highlights of group 15 elements. Okay, part 8. PCL5 can be formed from the reactions of phosphorus with chlorine and the PCL5 has melting point of 161 degrees C. Okay, part 1. Write an equation for the formation of PCL5 from phosphorus and chlorine. You can give P or P4. Normally, we put P4. P4 with the Cl2 form PCL5. We just balance it, right? So you get this equation. Part 2. State the type of the structure and bonding shown in the liquid PCL5. Okay, so for this one, you need to look at the melting point. The melting point is 161, which is quite low. So it's telling us that okay, it's going to be a simple structure. It must be a simple molecule. This is a molecule. And the bonding must be covalent bonding. Okay, because they are both non-metals. Right? Covalents. The difference of electronegativity won't, won't be so great. Part B. A small amount of PCL5 added to the excess of water. The PCL5 reacts vigorously to form a colorless solution. Okay, give one other's observation okay, you would make when PCL5 reacts with excess water. Okay, the best answer of course is the semi film which is the hexia. So when HCl form, you see the white films or steamy films, right? So this is the characteristic between the these PCl5 and water, the reactions of PCl5 with water. Okay, write the equations for the reactions of PCl5 with excess water. Okay, this one uh, you have to remember. Okay, PCl5 with water form two compound or two acids, H3PO4 and HCl. This is a white film. Estimate the pH of the resulting solution because the solution has the strong acid now. Okay, it's, the, it's better for you to put pH 1 to 2. So this is a range. Normally we will put pH 1. Part C. PCL3 is convert is used to convert alcohol to the coral alkane like this compound T. A possible synthesis of T is shown through the reaction 1 and using PCL3 later. Now for the first compound, after it undergo reaction 1, okay, it's formed this alcohol. From carboxylic acid to alcohol only. So we know that it will undergo reduction. So the carboxylic acid will reduce to alcohol. And we must use lithium aluminum hydride in dry ether only. In your syllabus, you just need to use this, not others. It's very easy for this reduction. First, you need to remove oxygen. Then it has to add two hydrogens here. Of course, the pi bonds break. Then you'll form this alcohol. Okay, after that, use PCL3. PCL3 is a compound that uh, can be used to substitute the OH with the Cl. Means the OH will be replaced by the Cl later, or will be substituted by the Cl when we use this PCL3. Here, so the compound T will form. Okay, T exhibit optical isomerism. Explain what it means by optical isomer and circle the atoms in the T which give the optical isomerism. Okay, so for this one, we know that 
Okay, this carbon cannot because it has two same group, two methyl group. This carbon it has two uh, hydrogen cannot. Okay, this carbon yes. Okay, it has one, two, three, and another hydrogen here. It's a four different groups. That's why this carbon is a chiral carbon. You give the optical isomerism. Okay, this carbon also cannot. So you just occur this one. Uh, just explain what is optical isomer molecule with non super impossible mirror image and the pair of the optical isomer we call enantiomers okay t is the minor product in the reaction of compound s with the excess hcl draw the structure of the major product uh, when the s react with uh, hcl very easy, just follow McConnell rules. Hydrogen will add to the carbon with more hydrogen. This is CH2, this is CH with another group. So hydrogens will bond here. And the chlorine then will bond to another carbon, this carbon. So it will form this part. And this one also same. Hydrogens will bond to this carbon and chlorine will bond to this carbon. Then they form this. Okay, so it will form these major products. NCL3 is a yellow liquid that can be used to bleach uh, many things. So not just this. So predict the shape of the this NCL3. First, you need to know. Uh, how many bonding pair, how many uh, lone pair. So for this uh, NCL3, it has one lone pair and three bonding pair. So we know that lone pair it has a stronger or greater repulsion compared to the bonding pair. If you slightly compress the bond angle, uh, so you become 107. If it's four Sigma bond like methane, uh, then is 109.5 because uh, four sigma bond they had, their repulsion is similar. Right. Okay, that's why the shape is uh, trigonal pyramidal and the bond angle is 107. Part 2 NCL3 reacts with water to form. HOCl, a weak bond stirrory acid. Explain fully what means by the terms weak bond stirrory acid. You have to explain these two terms, okay, which is acid and this one, the weak acid. Okay, for this one, we uh, try to explain the bond stirrory acid first. Okay, the species that donates proton. Okay, if a species is able to donate proton. That's we call bronsted lauric acid. And the weak means partially dissociate or ionize. So means this acid is just partially dissociate in the solution. Form a very, very small amount of H plus. For part three, first you need to understand the NCL3 liquid inject to a container already with this pressure because in this container in there already okay it has the unreactive gas means already there is an unreactive gas inside the container which gives this pressure and this unreactive gas will not react with the any one of the others gas. Okay, now 0 0.241 gram of NCL3 injected to the silk container. And the silk container was heated to make sure this NCL3 decomposed and form these two gases. Then it will cool, let it cool to 20 degrees C. Calculate the total pressure inside the silk container now at 20 degrees C. So first, you need to get the total 
numbers of most of the uh, products, the gases products, after decomposition. Okay, we need to find the mole of the NCL3. 0 0.241 given over the molar mass, you get 0 0.002. Total moles of gas that produced will be double, means from 2 moles form 4 moles. So therefore, you just need to times 2, you get 0 0.004. Okay, use this mole and the combined gas law, you can get the pressure. Okay, so PV equal to nRT, so you need to find pressure, bring the volume to another side. Okay, 0 0.004 times 8.31 times 293 over <coughs> this volume. So the volume is again 250 cm cube, so it must be meter cube. So 250 times 10 power negative 6. Okay, must be all standard unit for combined gas law. Okay, after, calcul after you calculate, so you get this 38957 Pascal. This is not the answer because it's asked total pressure. I already told you just now, initially it has this pressure. So you have to use this pressure, okay, and you sum up with this pressure that you calculate, you get this 139000 Pascal. Okay, that's all for this question. Thank you.